has been the king of mobile videography for over a decade and I think it still holds its name. And because of the lock feature on the new 15 Pro and Pro Max, there's so much more flexibility in terms of color grading for mobile videography. Today, I wanted to show you guys how I turned this flat looking image from iPhone to this. However, I wanted to keep this tutorial friendly for anyone so you can also use normal footage from any other phones to this tutorial as well. However, if your phone is capable of shooting 8-bit or 10-bit footage, that'll be way more flexible and way easier. So let's hop on our laptop and let me show how you guys can do it. I forgot to mention this, but in this tutorial, we are using DaVinci you resolve and I'm using the pay version but you can also use a free version as well and it works perfectly fine and not only that there are some power grades out there that's totally free so you can use that instead of film vision 2 but just don't forget this that if you get the free version there are certain limitations in terms of effects and some part of color grading so just have that in mind now let's get right into it after you import the footage and timeline head to the color tab and what we need to do is to change the lock footage to rec 709 to do this go all the way bottom on the right side there's a little setting logo go to color management and this is a color space and transforms that i set it to don't ask me why or how i figured this out i was just playing around and i'm not a colorist but this is the way how i do it so in the first tab, you want to go to the effects and you want to search for color space transform. Apply this color space transform to your tab, which I already did. So in this effects tab, you want to change the input color space to rec 2020. Don't ask me why it's rec 2020. I'm not a colorist. I was playing around. This is how I converted the log footage successfully. So just go along with it and in input gamma apply apple lock before we get into color grading let me explain the uniqueness of converting apple lock to rec 709 since apple lock is a kind of a new thing there's not really a legit way to convert apple lock to rec 709 however if you have a final cut pro the software will automatically translate the log footage to rec 709 and it looks absolutely great however since film vision 2 when you convert the footage it's very flat i prefer the rec 709 footage to have a little more contrast so in in this tutorial, I'm using DaVinci. For Premiere Pro guys, there are so many LUTs that you can just convert log footage to Rec. 709 and it looks better than the Final Cut one or DaVinci one, so I highly recommend those. But yeah, turning Apple Lock to non-log footage is a very, still a mysterious territory, so find your own way to convert it and upload as ProS 422 and import it to DaVinci and it will be more flexible for you to edit. After this, what you want to do is go to Power Grade and if you download a Film Vision 2, apply that to the footage and as of right now it looks very saturated but don't worry we can fix it there's many free options for film looking power grade but for me i think film vision 2 is one of the cheapest and one of the easiest ways to make how you want the footage to look like so i choose film vision 2. what you want to do is to right click on lab scan hit show compound node and what you want to do is to right click lut and go to lut section and go to film vision 2. And in Film Vision 2, choose FV2 Rec 709, and this will flatten out the saturated image. Film Vision 2 is very non contrasty power grade. It looks very flat when you apply it. So, this is the right way that footage should look like. And after that, what I would like to do is to apply 250D and D55. And these are basically LUTs that mimics film stocks. The reason why I'm not changing white balance is because film power grade already has those distinguished look it's not about having the right white balance or not it's more about how how much you can mirror a film look so i will adjust the white balance later after i choose 250d and d55 i'll go to grain tab and hit effects and i usually prefer small amount of grain so i'll choose 35 mil 200t now once we have everything set it up for the lab scan let's hit back and what we want to do is to go to contrast and for adding contrast i usually go to the curves tab in DaVinci and what we want to do is to apply a nice S curve click three points of each highlights mid and shadows and since this footage is a very contrasty footage what I prefer is to apply good amount of highlight to get a good halation and the thing about film vision 2 is that it has a very good halation system you can choose from three options but i usually keep it stock because it only add highlights to a very bright point of the footage which is more realistic in terms of film so i'll add the highlights it's getting super bright see look at look at her hair and look at the lights between the tree branches it looks very nice and since this is a super contrasty footage I wanted to keep it the shadow not too dark and if it gets too dark no worries what you want to do is to bump up 
the mid part of the video to make it less shadowy. And you just wanna go back and forth and adjust the way you want to look. So most of my S curves are very consistent throughout any type of footage. However, since this clip has a very contrasty environment, I want to keep the shadow very light. However, this is the one trick I always do in terms of like getting more shadow out of the darkest part of the video is to go all the way to the bottom of the S curve. So what you want to do is to slide the bottom of the S curve to slightly on the right side. So as you can see, if you slide the bottom dot of the S-curve towards right, the darkest part of the video will get darker and you will achieve richer black in the shadow. And since most of my video, most of my color grading is right between cinematic footage and film emulation, I wanted to have something in between. And the way to achieve it is to have a contrasty film emulated footage. And this trick always helps me and already the footage is looking pretty zesty but what i usually do is to go back and forth of the exposure tab and contrast tab to get the right amount of contrast from the video to change the exposure i usually change the exposure at primaries on the color wheel but i think you can also use the hdr color wheel as well and this is the last part lastly i will play around with white balance and split tone to get the right amount of warmness and coldness that i think i can mimic the film look very accurately you don't want to make it too warm you don't want to make it too cold but you just want to have the right amount of film-ish look to change the white balance i usually change it at the primaries on the color wheels as well and there you go this is how i usually color grade my apple log footage but if your phone does not have a log feature you don't really have to start from the log footage you can always just import the video and change it to film look footage however as i said at the beginning if your phone has a 8-bit or 10-bit prores video feature that'll be way better than just shooting uh, H.264 video from smartphone because it doesn't have much data as ProRes footage. Before I upload the color graded footage, most of the footage I upload in H.264 because it's lighter and easier to handle it. And my color space tag is P3DCI and my gamma tag is sRGB. But yeah, that's for it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like it, please hit the subscribe and hit the notification button so you guys will not miss the next video. My name is Peace Gates. You guys already know. Peace out, guys.